Hey, this is Rick with Sapphire Valley TV coming to you from the 2013 edition of the Cashers Valley Leaf Festival. Now to let you know where we are, we're at the Cashers Valley Crossroads, three miles east on Highway 64 is Sapphire Valley Resort, and you could not ask for a better day for a leaf festival. Now, many of you who have been here before will know the Village Green is also home of the popular Groovin' on the Green summer concert series. But today, it's the premier uh, event of the year, the Cassius Valley Leaf Festival. We're going to walk through the festival, take a few pictures, interview a few artisans, and catch up with Robin Ashmore, president of the Greater Cashers Merchants Association. Stay with us and let's take a walk. All right, we made it just inside the Village Green, and we found Flo Smiley of Wild Mountain Crafts. A lot of you Sapphire Valley regulars will recognize Flo from the Sapphire Valley Community Center. Flo, how's your show going? What do you think of the day? It's going great. I've had a lot of great sales, great people. But tell us about your product that you make. I make the uh, rock candles out of uh, North Carolina slate and Tennessee slate. It's a called a forever candle. The wicks last forever. They're made out of fiberglass. As long as you keep fuel in them, they'll keep burning. A forever wick. A forever wick. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And how about the dream catchers? Is this your creation as well? Yes. My grandmother taught me to make dream catchers when I was a little girl, and I've kind of created my own style. Um, this one has a coyote face in the front of it. And also now we're making the Native American spears. Very good. Well, enjoy your show, and we'll see you back down at Sapphire Valley, okay? Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay, we made it through about a quarter way through this beautiful facility and we've caught up with Robin Ashmore, the current president of the Greater Cashers Merchants Association. We attended the event last night, the Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young cover band. Seemed like a great party. What do you think and how's it going so far? Uh, it was a great turnout last night. We probably had over 600 attendees. We probably had over 400 VIPs. Um, it was great. Everybody said that um, it was the best event that they've been to. And of course, the Leaf Festival, we have beautiful weather. We have a lot of great artisans here. And we're expecting probably around 7,000 for attendees for the wow. weekend. Wow. So it's Very a great event for our town. Excellent. Tell us about Robin's Nest a little bit. Uh, I have a store called Robin's Nest by Bear Paw Design. I do home accents, decor, gifts. Um, I have condiments there from jams, jellies, to soups and dips. And this is my sixth season in business here. Robin, thanks for your time. It looks like a great turnout. We're going to mosey down the, the path here at the Village Commons and catch up with some other merchants. Okay. Appreciate it. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. You know, when we do these uh, short video clips for Sapphire Valley TV, we like to find something we believe is a little unique and of super high quality. And when we were walking through the uh, Leaf Festival setup Thursday, we found Kat and Sean of Garland Creations, and we think we have that with these. Kat, tell us about uh, Garland Creations, your product. And first, welcome to Leaf Festival. I'm sure it's your you. first time. It is. It is. Um, it's our first time here, but we're residents of Highlands and Cashers, and we've been here since 2006, and we're happy to finally be doing something that gets us rooted in the community a little bit greater, and we think that this this avenue in art is really is doing that, and that the product represents something that is organic for the area, and yet brings something new that we haven't seen before. And the company itself, Garland Original, started in the 50s, actually, wow. in Coral Gables, Florida, with our business partners, Tim and Nancy Holt. And we've, it was closed for a number of years, but has come back. And it's come back in this new and, and more organic way, but we still do some of the old traditions, which are uh, enameling, which is thousands of years old, but it's something that, you know, of course, we're not thousands of years old. <laughs> But it we is, hope to be. We, we hope to be, but um, but it's something that we're we're exploring that and hoping that people are enjoying the enameling and the conferences as well. But so, so as for your first leaf experience, the leaf festival experience, we've been very positive. It's been show. it's been great. You know, just to be out in front of our own community has really been. Um, eye-opening for us and be able to make the connection with friends who we who didn't know that that's what we were doing and have really been overly supportive, which is the one great thing about this community, isn't it? It is. That everybody comes out and pulls together and, and really brings a sense of togetherness and supports local artists. And I think I hear that emulating throughout the entire show. Is That's the great support we feel here. Well, I think uh, this fifth, fifth Leaf Festival has been very successful. And best of luck for the rest of the day. Thank you. And keep in mind on sapphirevalley.com, on the events tab, you'll be able to find links to all the artisans that we've interviewed during this show. Thanks, and we'll see you in Sapphire. Bye.